In this video, you will learn how to edit your images in iMovie. So one thing to think about is your filters and what type of filters you want on your movie. There's a way to actually add a filter to your entire movie if there's a certain look that you want every single clip to have. If you come on up to the settings gear right in the preview button um, at the top right, that gear, what you can do is a project filter. So that would automatically make all of your movie in that certain type of filter. So now if you scroll across, you'll see everything has become this black and white, despite it looking still in color in the edit mode. So that's one thing con to consider. You can also filter individual pictures. So if I tap on that volleyball picture, for example, and then I click on the filters button, so those three circles that intertwine together, I could then change that individual pictures filter. So we go from that black and white to the color, as you can see here. So that's an option as well for an individual filter change. If you wanna take off that project filter, you just come back up to the gear, slide back across, click on none, and that would take it out so you'd be able to get rid of that as well. And now you can see I'm back to my normal coloring, uh, but I still have that project uh, picture um, filter on for that one individual volleyball picture. So those are filters and you can filter both video, right? So I can click on the video and I'd be able to filter that as well in addition to my photo. Um, something to consider though, if you click on your green screen video, you cannot filter that one. Just keep that in mind because of the overlay, okay? Um, something else you can do, which is really nice, is what's called a Ken Burns effect. So if I tap on a photo, what you'll notice is that this photo is able to stay static, right? So it's not moving in any way, shape, or form. If I click on the word actions in the bottom left-hand corner, what that does is that opened up on my screen uh, what's called the Ken Burns effect, and that enabled it. Ken Burns is a very famous director. They named this after him uh, because he was able to uh, pan in on shots very well when he was filming different movies in his, um, in his career. So the Ken Burns effect, what that does is it pans across a picture. So what you would do is you would start with the top arrow. So this says to pinch to position the start. So right now my static image does not have the Ken Burns effect on it. So I could actually disable that if I want and not do the panning, but I want to try the panning. So I'm gonna click on the Ken Burns, it's now enabled. I've clicked on pinch to position the start. So I'm gonna start by zooming in a lot into the mountain and then I'm gonna click on the arrow below it and where it says pinch to position the end and I'm gonna leave it as is. So it's gonna go from really zoomed in to really zoomed out. So now if I come across my image, you'll see and initially it starts very zoomed in and as I scroll over, it zooms out of the picture, right? So if I click on that one more time, I could change it. I could pinch back out and maybe pinch in and then also move it over to the left. And then maybe I pinch out for the positioning and I pinch in, but I move it over to the right. So now instead, it looks like I'm going across, right? And I could do the same exact thing, but make it go from top to bottom. So again, I'm gonna click on the beach I'm going to tap on my start. I'm going to zoom in to the top of the mountain and the clouds, maybe zoom out just a touch. I'm going to drag all the way up. So I start all the way up in the clouds and then I'm going to zoom out and I want to end in the water down here in the sand. So again, so I'm going from the clouds to the water. So those are all things to consider. So as you play your movie, it looks like the background is moving as well. That's another option for your static images by adding in that Ken Burns effects, which is again, when you click on the picture, you click actions, and then in your preview screen, you can play around with pinching and zooming to enable the Ken Burns effects. 